Hello, it's Chris from ePianos here, and I'm here with the Yamaha P125 Digital Piano. Take a look at our website for the latest deals and offers on digital pianos and keyboards, deliveries fast and free across the UK. So, Yamaha P125, what is it all about? Well, the P in P125 stands for portable, and as you might expect, that means it's very, very light. You can pick it up, put it under your arm, travel around with it. This means it's fantastic for gigging musicians who want to go out and play gigs, or if you're struggling for a room at home, um, it's perfect because it's very, very small and compact, but it gives you the real authentic feel of a traditional piano. Now, have a look at the setup of it. I've currently got it on the optional stand. It's worth knowing that when you buy one in the box, it's just this top piano section that will come in the box, along with the music rest, of course, not the iPad, um, it will come with one sustain pedal, the power adapter and the manual as well. This puts it in a configuration that is very easy to pick up and carry. You can easily put it under your arm, sling it in the pack of the car and go. That's what it's designed for, that's what the P stands for, portable. What does it sound like? Let's have a listen. Beautifully simple, turn it on, it resets to piano. <laughs> Okay, so that's a really, really lovely authentic piano sound. And what we're hearing here is a sample of a real Yamaha Concert Grand Piano. Yamaha makes some of the best Concert Grand Pianos in the world. And all of that history, all of that heritage is filtered down into their digital pianos. It's 88 keys wide. That's the same amount of keys as a traditional grand piano. And crucially, they have what we call weighted key mechanism in there. Uh, when you go and touch the keys on the piano you notice they're heavy to the touch aren't they? That's exactly what we've got with the P125 here. So that's a really authentic feel. Now crucial things to know about a digital piano if you haven't seen one before is they never ever go out of tune and that is crucial. You'll never have to do anything to maintenance wise to keep it in tune. Also the controls here are very simple digital pianos allow you to be able to turn the volume down and practice in relative quiet. You can also wear headphones as well so you can practice in total silence not disturb anybody. The functionality of the P-Series is very very straightforward. It's designed like this to be straightforward and simple. You have things that are practical like a metronome built in, rhythms as well that will give you a drum beat and some bass lines if you don't like using the simplicity of the metronome. You can record yourself playing on here, which is a wonderful feature, good for practicing. It means you can play a duet at home. And then you've got what we call the voices, the different sounds that it makes. It's very straightforward. There's not a great deal of options on here, but there's just enough to make it quite fun to play with. Piano, if we keep pressing piano, it'll give us different variations. You can see that each time I press it. Same with electric pianos. And if you look on the screen at the minute, on the iPad, um, just reiterate, the iPad does not come with it, this is just optional. Um, it gives us different variations. You can see organs, uh, clavichords, they're all built in there, but there's quite a few variations. Now, going on to the app, it's very straightforward. Uh, on an iPad here, but it works on iPhone as well. Um, it's just a companion stroke controller app. Um, I can use it to change the sounds if I like. I can go to electric piano, choose one of those, and give me an electric piano sound, or I have things like organs in here. straightforward to use and there's a section that's called piano room as well which we quite like which is probably the most basic way to use it what you do is choose the piano you like and then you can change the environment you're playing in so if I go to concert hall we get a terrific echoey but if you're in a chamber or if you're in a club all the echo is taken out so it gives it a different character Just a, a really straightforward way to use it that makes it a bit more interesting. You can also do things like change the EQ, various different settings, and then save it into registrations as well. So a couple of other really practical things on the Yamaha P125. Um, if you're a composer or a songwriter and you're writing things at home, you can record onto it and it'll stay on here as well. 
even if you turn it off and back on again. And if you want to transfer that music onto a computer, very, very straightforward to do uh, in MIDI format. There's a USB to host connection, so it goes straight off onto a computer as a MIDI format. And it's got jack outputs as well. So if you're going into an interface, you can take the pure um, pro quality audio output as well. And a really nice little feature that uh, the P125 has is what's called a table top um, EQ setting. Now what it does is it basically automatically detects when it's been put on a tabletop. Uh, there are speakers underneath you see and if it's on a tabletop it can't really get the most out of those speakers so it has a special setting it goes to that brings more of the bass out the top and gives you a more natural sound because not everyone uses a stand. Uh, as I said we've got the optional wooden stand here which is nice and sturdy and you can get the three pedal unit attached to it as well. It's worth noting that they are separate purchases the wooden stand and the three pedals but um, a lot of people like to have them on cross frame stands because they can fold up flat and they're very good to take out and gig with so that was the Yamaha P125 digital portable piano you can get it in black like you see it behind me here or you can get it in white as well go on over to the ePianos website because on there you can of course buy yourself a Yamaha P125 here but you can also customize your own bundle uh, what I mean by that is you could choose the type of stand you like, choose the type of bench you like, choose the type of headphones you like, uh, or if you don't want any of it all, you can just buy the piano on its own. So if you have any questions whatsoever, just leave them in the comment section below, or you can send us an email. I hope that was useful to you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.